Hi guys, so one of you asked me to talk about my dating life in one of my videos and so in this video I'm going to talk about how I met George for those of you who always wonder how I met him and a little bit about my ex-boyfriend because it has to do with little Lynn. It's something that I'm nervous to talk about because it's it's something that I barely talk about because it was a bad experience and when I go through something bad, it's something that I just fade out. It's something that I don't like to remember. I don't like to think about it and how something bad turned out to something good. So this is going to be kind of like a story time type of video so that you get to know me a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to begin with how... I met my boyfriend and what happened so basically I met him online this was back when I was in high school when I used to be younger my mom would always send us to her country Guatemala and this guy happened to be from the same country so one of those times that I went to Guatemala he wanted to meet me and it was a surprise because we hadn't we hadn't really spoken about meeting and he hadn't told me with prior notice that he was going to meet me in person so that's the first time that I saw him and after that we just started talking all the time via chat and that's how we formed a long distance relationship and we were together for four years but the first year everything was great and after that we would always argue all the time so it was kind of like a nightmare always trying to speak with him i don't know if it was because of the long distance relationship or the more that we got to know each other the more we knew that we had differences back then i was so young i was naive and i just wanted to keep dating him because i thought i was in love and so we just kept talking and so every now and then i would either go to guatemala or he would travel here to miami and that's how we got to see each other and so the plan was that whoever finished school first we would move to the other country so i was in college and he was in university so we were waiting to see who finished first if i finished first then i would probably move to his country or if he finished first then he would come here so that fourth year that we saw each other that's when i found out that i was pregnant and it took me a couple of months because i didn't want to believe it I remember thinking that no it's not possible I don't feel pregnant and so I did the pregnancy test and it came out positive and even then I didn't want to believe it so after a few months I started going for the doctor checkups for pregnancy and I started to notice that he was changing he would never want to see me if I wanted to show him belly pictures or video he would tell me right now i have a family member or a friend over so i really can't see you um he said that he wasn't able to come because his name didn't appear on the right order on his passport when i knew that was the passport that he had used in previous years and also he would tell me let me finish my university which he did he didn't come then he said that he would come when it was christmas little lynn was born in august so by december he said i'll be there by christmas that didn't happen and so all this time i thought that he would be coming to see little lynn um but he would never ask to see pictures of her um video just a few times and during this time throughout the whole pregnancy it was basically me on my own by myself and he never sent me any money nothing no gift nothing at all so throughout this time i was already thinking about breaking up with him because i didn't see any responsibility on his side no interest in him in coming to be with us and so one of the last times that we spoke it was through chat and i remember that his question to me was what do you want me to do that to me was like the ending that to me was like 
oh my gosh are you serious are you asking me what you should be doing a responsible man should know what to do and shouldn't be asking anyone what he is supposed to do so that was the last time we spoke and i just ended the relationship because i was so mad i was so angry that he didn't want to do anything and so lynn was born and i was going through depression i was lost and i would cry almost daily i remember that when little lynn was a baby i would see to be a lot of the time because i had nothing to do i wasn't working um oh another thing he said that he had a lot on his plate when i was the one going to school i was finishing college i was working and i was going through pregnancy so i had to be going to the doctor checkups and back then i didn't have a car so i had to take the bus and he was only going to university he wasn't going through everything that i was going and on top of that he didn't want to tell his parents that i was pregnant he ended up telling them one month before so yeah so one day i was seeing one of the commercials and i saw the commercial for the pill plan b i remember thinking if i had only known about this beforehand so that i could avoid going through all this now thinking back to me like the perfect age to have kids it's around 30 because by 30 you'll be done with school you get to meet new people you get to travel you get to do so many things and i never imagined i would be a single mother that's something that i wish i hadn't gone through because for me when you have a kids it's about two it's about a couple right about being in a relationship but then a few years passed by i met a few guys and nothing happened because either i liked the guy but he didn't like me back or vice versa they liked me but i didn't like them so i remember signing up with okcupid and i met a guy and we had a 98 percent and if you're familiar with okcupid you know that you can answer a series of questions and that will help to find you a match so i remember meeting a guy that had with me 98 percent match and we met and he was such a nice guy but he didn't live here he was just traveling to see his parents and then he went back so nothing ever happened from that and then i met an, another guy i remember he was from belgium and he spoke english french and spanish and i find that attractive when someone is able to speak a few languages because i'm learning french and i want to be able to learn other languages so i thought he was cute but he stopped talking to me so he wasn't interested in me and then that's when i met george but i almost didn't talk with him because we didn't have a percent and that's because he didn't take the time to answer those questions so i didn't know how serious he was in finding someone but i decided to give him a chance and so we met in person from day one he was so kind he was so gentle he was polite and so we kept talking and something that i remember is that he had to fly to new york for work and all those days that he went traveling he would always call me so i knew he had me in mind and that's something that i liked about him that even though he was away he kept me in mind and ever since then we have been dating now it's going to be two years and now we live together and one of the things that i also remember that i remember is the day that he met little lynn and i was a little nervous about that because that day i was going to decide whether i kept talking with him or not because of course it's important for me that whoever i dated would get along with little lynn and that day when he met her he would take her hand he would take care of her and that to me meant so much so that's how i decided to just keep getting to know him and everything turned out really well and now they he's always thinking about us he cares about us so much and that's how 
basically I met George and so sometimes we feel like it's like the end of the world we have no idea how it's going to get better but these are experiences that just makes you grow as a person I feel like I am the person that I am now because of that and I wouldn't have met George. That's the good side of the story <laughs> that basically I met George. If not, I wouldn't have met him and he wouldn't be part of my life. So that's basically my story time about my ex-boyfriend and how I met my current boyfriend for those of you who were wondering. So let me know in the comments section if you have a similar story or if you have any other video ideas for me, let me know in the comments so that I can make it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Kisses. Bye.